Buenos dias from Colombia. My name's Garrett and behind the camera is my wife, Lauren. We are currently in Salento, a small, beautiful, colorful town tucked away in the Andes Mountains. While Salento is notable in its own right for colorful buildings and delicious food, it's most famous for its proximity to the Cocora Valley and coffee farms. We just wrapped up breakfast at our hotel and now we are headed to a coffee farm tour. Going to want to make sure that you have a good bug repellent. Normally I don't like putting that many chemicals on my body, but definitely get the DEET out here. Garrett just got bit and his arm looks a little terrifying because we didn't put our bug wipes on before breakfast. It looks kind of scary. So make sure that you get some of these. We order these off Amazon. Highly recommend for traveling since there's no liquid involved. Make sure you wear sunscreen too. We're out here just responsible. The closer we get to 30, the more responsible we get when we travel. And also the earlier we go to bed. Our Willie's almost here to pick us up. Let's go. Hola, chicos. ¿Qué tal? The tour started in the best way possible with coffee samples. After a quick coffee lesson from our awesome guide Steven, we were ready to hit the farm. This original coffee feels so sweet, okay? All right, it's time to gear up. <laughs> Tie in the belt bag. I'm gonna go pick some coffee. If you find the flower, please smell it. You're gonna feel amazing aroma. Hiking up to find the coffee plants that are ripe. I'm a glammy coffee one. farmer. Well guys, <laughs> got work to do. Pick a green one. Well, you're gonna be fired from the farm, okay? <laughs> Go carefully. <laughs> gotta find the red coffee beans. That means that they're ripe. It's not in season, so we're not picking too many. I'm beating you. Yeah, I got Good three, time. you got two. Pick it up. I'm happy. I like this. You're a pretty good farmer. It's been a hard day's work, partner. You wouldn't have got paid nothing. I would not have now. We just throw the beans on the top of the machine. And right here, we obtain the coffee beans, but without the shell. Coffee's drying. Okay. This coffee has caramel notes and chocolate notes. Quick little snack break. And the time has come to roast this coffee. Shells, we are not destroying the coffee bean. The pergamino is going to be on the top. Keep moving the coffee all this. Camera, action. How about this? One second, okay? Look at the color, my friends. It's a caramel, it's like a honey color. We just finished our coffee tour at Luger Coffee. We bought some souvenirs and now we're about to get back in the willy and go get some lunch. A willy is a retro style Jeep that is the mode of transportation here in Salento. Normally you get in a willy with a bunch of other people. They pack them full. There's usually people hanging off the back. Today we were lucky enough that our tour actually came with a private willy ride. We learned from our guide that the willies were actually purchased by the Colombians from the United States after World War II. They did a big sell of them to get rid of them and a lot of countries like Colombia purchased them. They're basically the main way to get around the bumpy roads of Salento. You can pick them up from the main square. They're pretty inexpensive comparative to getting like a private taxi. It's about a dollar, two dollars US per person to get to the Cocora Valley or into any of the coffee farms. And they pack them full. We call it Farmer Yemoni. I got steak and Lauren got toppings on a banana chip. Let the record show that I am very excited about my stuff on banana chip. After we said goodbye to our guide, we walked around town, got a cup of coffee. There's a lot of good restaurants in this town, a lot of good coffee shops, and that's a big part of what we've been doing. And then we came back to our hotel just to chill for a little bit. We sat on the balcony, enjoyed the view. Yeah, no thanks. I'll be out of here. Took a shower, 
Now we're gonna head back out, buy some snacks for the hike that we're doing tomorrow, as well as go to dinner. We're eating Venezuelan food for the first time, and it looks delicious. Number one on the list is, of course, arepas. This arepa was so much bigger and better than we were expecting. <laughs> and these entrees tasted as good as they looked. They also had a vegetarian option, which was equally delicious. That Venezuelan food was a deliciosa. Oh, the Venezuelan food was out of this world. We highly recommend this place if you're in Salento. We had sopita, soup, we had ensalada, a salad, two large entrees, two juices, and a repa just for fun. The lady literally was like, are you very hungry? And we were like, <laughs> see. The food was so awesome at this place. I don't know if it's all Venezuelan food or just that place, but I am definitely Googling flights to Venezuela when we get back to the hotel. Buenos noches. Buenos noches. We're gonna get some sleep, and tomorrow we are headed to Kakora Valley to do the full hike, and we're really excited. Buenos noches. <laughs> Buenos noches. Buenos noches.